Hey everyone, so I thought what I'd try to do today is a live Lego build just to show you how long it actually takes me to build one of these kits. Now what I've got today, relatively small kit, I mean it comes in a big box. This is the Lego 3181 passenger plane. Now, as I say, it's a small kit. It only has 309 pieces. But uh, I wanted to show you something. As you can see, this is a pretty big box. But if you look inside, the box is mostly empty. I mean, the pieces only come up to about here on it. It's a ridiculous amount of box float. But let's begin, shall we? So this, one reason why I chose to do this one is that it's a Lego numbered bag build. So I'll do the plain part first and probably leave this part till last. This is just one bag. So I don't need bag number one. That can go to the side. So let's get down here. So we'll start with bag number two. Now with these numbered bag builds, I find I don't really need to sort them out very much. I just need to spread them out a bit. Build the guy. Start building the guy. This isn't my usual angle for building. Let's go here. I wonder if I need the back. Just here. Can you guys see that? Yep. Alright. So as I said, for a build this size, I don't usually sort it first. It's kind of weird. Which is that should go further. That's the wrong piece, that's why. See, I do make mistakes. I'm by no means perfect when I build these things. Remember where the camera's pointing. Let's angle that down a little bit more. There we go. Uh, Lego build box books are fairly nice because they lay out everything. I'm actually going to put this here. Let's see if I can do this upside down. It's going to be annoying flipping the pages like that, but. As I said, this is a pretty quick build. Probably not going to take me that long. Maybe about half an hour, if, if that. Most of the time, it's probably going to be looking for pieces. This is odd. Oops. I 
did that wrong. <laughs> As I said, I make mistakes. The piece doesn't go here. <sighs> one thing if you make Lego, pick up one of these. Makes it... <laughs> of course I fail. Makes it much easier to take pieces off. It's just a brick separator. I think it's going to be built the wing next. No. Numbered bag builds make things really, really simple. It's almost not as much fun to build them, really. Simply because you spend, don't spend quite as much time searching for pieces, and frankly, that is sometimes one of the fun parts about these builds. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, five, that there. So I've got Blog TV on in behind me if you're wondering what that is. Now, somewhere here, there should be stickers. Right. Now, some people will take tweezers and put these on, but I think that's overkill. Now, for the clear parts, yeah, tweezers would probably be ideal, but for these ones here, they tend to stick fairly well. You don't get them quite centered. You can usually just rub them over just a little bit until they go where you want them to go. There. Yeah. <laughs> Over. <laughs> That's the first bag. Actually, not quite. Put the little pilot together here. And he's going to go right there. Now you open bag number three. Again, skip bag one for the time being. And the first thing, since I looked through the instructions beforehand, I know the first thing bag three is going to have me do is identical. The last one, just in reverse, so I can pretty much do this one strictly from memory. Mm -hmm. 
do. Again, right now I actually am, have not even really consult, con, uh, consulted the instructions for that piece because it's pretty much just what I just did, only in reverse. So this part here, this will be the, where the rear engine connects. bag. Hmm. Yeah, there it is. Big. Yeah, and it's just like on a real plane. Last seat in the cabin has a horrible view, if not no view. <laughs> do, do. Got these. Just pop the windows in, put that in place. This particular build is going to be fairly repetitive. In case anyone's wondering, what I've got behind, on behind me is a Artist for Life Blog TV, which I have on as background music due to the current performer, what I believe is a Little Roxy baby. And I've got chunks of earth in his kitchen. Fuck you, chunks. <laughs> if anybody's offended by that, you don't know chunks. <laughs> it's a, kind of a running joke in his room. You get into his room, you say, F you, Chunks. He says, F you back. And all is good. It's just the, the greeting in his room. It means virtually nothing. Except, hello. So please don't be offended that I said it. Oops. Got that in backwards. That in. As I said, I make mistakes when I build these things. So this is going to be where the top anchors on. This is here. And I fuck that up again. Goes in here. stickers on. Actually no, I need to make sure they line up. So that's going to go on first. No. So yeah, just put that sticker on there. Flip it around, put one on a similar sticker on the other side. Just so that I can make sure that the blue stripe lines up. Thank you. 
there. This is kind of weird. This is the first kit I can remember where at this point in the build, I mean I've gone through two bags and I haven't seen any spare parts. Usually there have been for now. So the last bag, well, last bag to the airplane, anyway, this instruction book. Here's the various parts. Of the engines and the tails. So I hear just from a friend of mine who used to work for WestJet, and for those who don't know, WestJet is a one of the two major airlines up here in Canada, the other being Air Canada. I actually prefer flying WestJet when I can. Oops. I mean, it's actually supposed to be red. Anyway, uh, this friend of mine used to work for WestJet, and he said that the reason they give planes these little upturned bits is that it increases their range. So they wanted to start flying, having flights into Hawaii, but in order to do that, they needed to modify some of their planes, and the only thing they fly is 737s, to have these little upturned bits at the wings, wingtips, to increase their range, which I found kind of interesting. Goes here. Like that. It's on there. I'm actually kind of completely ignoring the instructions at this point since I know roughly what needs to be done. And I still screwed up because that's on backwards. It goes on like that. Back gets there. Goes there. Stupid. It's gonna not, not be fun. Yep. Wrong piece. As I said, I sometimes goof up a lot when I make these things.
Good. Those on there. Oh look, wheels. Ah, now this part I'm going to try. That's what I'm used to. And that leaves me with those pieces left over. Now the plane itself is done. Let me show you what that looks like. Let's tilt that up a little bit more. Not a bad little plane. Now, just because I will, as I said, that's the plane. Not quite sure how long that took. Now there's a little tow truck and a little radar stand comes with this set as well. Plus the other two figures. So you can have one guy who's in construction. Actually, he has those pants. But we'll see what they do. Nope, that was wrong. Yep. Well, kind of, guy in a business suit. You got a business suit, gets a normal smiley face. Worker gets a bearded face. Little briefcase, luggage, carry on baggage for the traveler. He taps in this little box here. Uh, I hope this isn't too boring.
So, stand. Little radar stand that comes in here. It's just the support. Goes on. My other side. That goes on there. Believe it or not, I actually do talk to myself like this as I'm making these things usually. I don't know whether that's to keep myself entertained or whether it just shows that I'm insane. Probably both. Sing, call me, maybe. So, yeah. Fairly simple little radar. Rotates. now. This guy's hair is just so I get that out of the way. Yeah. This guy just gets a little hat. I just knocked down a guy. I really don't care. Right there. Oops. Hey. Ah, sigh. Of course. Now when I built the stop with camel, there's a small little mini kit I got with it at the same time. I tried to do a live build of that, and I had the stop with camel on this table at the same time. It's kind of over here, and it rolled off the table. So I've been keeping an eye on this one here while I'm building this thing. Now I don't think this would fall and would break apart quite as easily. So a little bit more robust. The sop with camel, which is really a display piece, but all the same. Just a second. Uh, Chunks is asking me a question. Uh, I'll be on Skype once I've finished this Lego model. Yes, I care about you more than I care about talking with Chunks. <laughs> There's Chunks right there. Alright. Love you too, Chunks. Platonically.
on here. Whoa. Is the answer? extra piece. So I'll believe this guy. Go here. This. Go here so I can pull the plane, just like in a real airport. Lego passenger plane. Done in real time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Took me, according to the recording time, and you obviously there were a few gaps in there, about 35 minutes, uh, including talking to you guys. So, yeah. So probably about a 30 minute build, all told. Not bad at all. Anyway, it's Firefly 404 Chunks. I'll talk to you on Skype in a few minutes. Peace.